I love this race, being able to stay up and, and see it all play out. Um, it's been it's been really interesting. Can't believe it's so close across all the classes right here to the end. Uh, I mean, what what stood out at you? I, I, I had a chuckle out of your comment on that uh, fog light. You're like, I'd hit it just to make it stop. Sorry, not sorry was your hashtag. Um, I mean, what, what stood out to you about things that have gone on? Uh, you know, you know Jeff Gordon really well. Can you read his body language, nerves? You know, what stood out to you? I think um, in the uh, in both races that I ran in 2001 and 2004, it rained and. So I can certainly, I've, I think that's what's been most interesting to me is how these guys have dealt with the conditions. And uh, that that was not any fun for anyone out there having to run all them laps under caution at night with all them lights and everything carrying on. And uh, seeing these guys try to get on these slicks and get back up on the racetrack and having trouble, you saw the, P, uh, the prototype leader fit a poly spin. Um, it just reminds you of how treacherous those tires are they're hard at 70 degrees uh and it still takes a lap and a half to get going i can't imagine under these type of conditions as cool as it is as damp as the track is trying to get these cars going um it's incredible uh what these drivers are doing out there hey dale it's calvin fish uh when you ran here back the first time i think andy pilgrim was your teammate and kind of mentor advising you through conditions like this what sort of advice would he have given you if you were about to jump in the car in those wet, damp, drying conditions. Yeah, I'd never ran in the rain before. We didn't have any opportunities to test in, in conditions like that. Um, just trying to f- understand how to run offline was the first thing. Um, I had, you know, they tell you to run offline that the, that the actual racing line gets incredibly slick and you can't prepare yourself for it. It's, in, it's just not even usable. Um, trying to get through the bus stop and you have to cross over that racing line uh, many times throughout the lap so trying to do that carefully uh, was really difficult the cars was, uh, the corvette had a ton of torque and it was real easy to get the tires spinning trying to get around in the infield uh, in the wet trying to stay off uh, offline the whole time i've, I've looked for reasons or ways to explain it i mean these are guys that can literally drive a street car 10 tenths around a, a racetrack and hardly be looking out the windshield with one hand so nonchalant. So the car, it's almost undrivable on cold tires. Is that a fair assessment? Oh, yeah. I mean, you, you saw how easily the, the prototype spun there, um, and he wasn't, you know, looked like he's going 15, 20 mile an hour. The, those cars are really challenging because of the weight. Um, the Corvette's not quite as bad because it's a heavier car, uh, but still, those um, those new tires, they even in great condition, take two laps to get to where you're confident to where you can run and get into the throttle and use the throttle and, and roll the center of the corners. Uh, that first lap, I think I spun out in the Corvette in the middle of the race and in the prototype. Uh, so it's um, it's a mess. I mean, it's it, for a driver like Jeff that doesn't that's not running these cars every. You know, every week it's a it's a real handful. I actually ran in a pit wall one time coming out of the pits. <laughs> the car just went straight into the wall. I wasn't going 10 mile an hour. You're I think good, you're in good company there. Yeah. Almost everyone good has done that. I think Jeff did the same thing. And and Dale, you seem to have such good recollection of what went on. It seems like it was just yesterday in your mind, which begs the question of if it's that fresh in your mind when you're coming back. Jeff did it. Yeah, no, I I was so honored to be able to have said I've ran in this race. Uh, this is one of the biggest races uh, in motorsports, in my opinion. A uh, very historic race with uh, with a lot of impressive names that have came and came and ran. I just was honored to be a part of Team Corvette and to have had an opportunity to, to, to drive with Andy Pilgrim, Andy Wallace, uh, teaming up with Tony Stewart, teaming up with my dad. Those were incredible moments that I'll never forget. So. Uh, it was just a pleasure. I, I would love to do it again, just, uh, you know, timing. And, and it, it's not something that you can take lightly. You have to put in a lot of effort to test um, and and get familiar with the car. And plus, you know, it's tough. You get teamed up against those road course aces, man, and you got to carry your weight. And it, it's difficult. Me and Dad had a hard time trying to keep speed with, with uh, Pilgrim and those guys. So um, that's a bit of a bit of a hit to your ego if you're used to being being quick you're not going to be the top dog in these 
in these cars if you're a NASCAR guy. But some of our guys handle it pretty good. Jimmy always was pretty quick. Um, I'm not quite sure how Jeff's speed was, but um, with the conditions, it's hard to tell. I actually did good in the wet. I, I liked rain, run, running in the rain. I was so impressed at how good the rain tires were. I'd never done anything like that before, so um, that was a lot of fun. I felt like I could do, you know, hold my own in the wet 